doing me now? I'm still the talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the round. We can't hop out, then we clear on the crowd. Treat him like What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani. And who do I have in the building with me today? Oh, Gina Bino. Oh, Peter Fella Street of Guadalas, man. Go! We're so excited to have Yo, you. Yo, I'm happy to be here. Wow. So, let's get it started. So, where are you from, for the people that don't know? Yo, I'm from the nah, Nine, man. East Flatbush. You know what I'm saying? Rutland. East okay. Rutland, I'm saying. Okay. Gina Bino, that's where I'm from. Clip. Okay, so who did you grow up listening to? Um, RP, my niggas stack bundles, you heard? Mm -hmm, like stack mm -hmm. bundles, niggas like stack, dipset niggas. Um, of course, the legends like Jay Z, you know, you know what I'm saying, Lil Wayne. That's about it, like the older cats. You know? Okay, okay. So, I mean, your sound is a lot different than them, than theirs. Yeah. So, who would you say has influenced the sound that you have now? Stack, stack bundles. Okay. Stack bundles. Uh, and what was it about him that you was feeling that you felt like you wanted to That nigga just, he just, he. I felt me, like I mm -hmm. seen myself in him. Every time I seen them in front of the cameras and shit, I seen myself. I'm like, nah, I like that shit. That nigga's loud like me. Like, that nigga, mm -hmm. he bop like me, do he do. I was just, I looked up to that shit. Like, okay, so at, that, so at what point was this? How old were you when you started making your music? Shit, like, fucking, it's like, it's early. This was early, but I was dirt. Like, I wasn't, and I was shy, so I, I wouldn't really mm -hmm. count that. But it was early. It was like early teenagers, like 13. Type shit. Okay. Cool. Okay, so 13 when you started making your music. So when did you actually start taking it seriously? When Fabi made Big Dream. Really? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So would you say that he influenced like you stepping the into the music? Scene? That is possible. Oh really? Yeah, because once Stack died, it's like you know, mm -hmm. you pick this pack up, get my money. Right. Yeah, but my boy did it for us. So what was that like for you? Because you grew up with Fabi, right? Yeah. What was that like for you seeing like somebody that you grew up with and that you were so close to like go up? It was it was it wasn't a shocker. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It was just more so get your shit together, homie. Like, cause I was I was always in jail and shit doing dumb shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Like I was just in and out. So I come home and I go check my homies on the other side, niggas is like, yo, Fabi got shit lit, da 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 and it's like, oh, this shit going up. Mm -hmm. Let me take my shit serious. Cause I I knew I always had a loom. Fan base and shit. Right. But I just had to take them serious as much as they was taking me serious. So. Okay. So yeah. would you say that because you had that motivation from him, is that why you ultimately wound up signing? You were the first signee yeah. um, to his label. Was that why? Yeah. It was just all. I know I could make the job easier. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was. That's what it is. So what would you say has been like some benefits from you being signed? Um. Me giving back to like um people that feel like it, it ain't possible, mm. like just like doing OT9, being on friends, mm -hmm. just making sure the door is still open. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying word for others. So, okay, so you said something um on Twitter the other day. You were saying something like about your past being dark and your future being bright. So talk me through that. Like, what was it like growing up, or what was it in your past that was so dark, and what is it that you're seeing in the future that you're looking forward to? Like, what was dark was shit I ain't see. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm And they made my motherfucking light shine brighter than I thought it was when it was real with them. Mm-hmm. Not knowing that it's bright still. You know what I'm saying? So it's the shit I ain't really see. And I elevated that motherfucker. So, you know? so you didn't see yourself being as lit as you are now? I ain't really see my potential. Bro. Oh, really? Nah. So what was it that struck that for you? <sighs> my loved one. Uh, mm -hmm. knowing that it's possible, knowing we could do it, and getting it done and doing it. I'm talking about one day we homeless, next day we in the mansion. Mm -hmm. type shit, so. Uh, so you really have a stay down till you come up yeah, type of story. I yeah. have your dreams do come true. So. Do you feel like your dreams have come true, or do you still yeah, have more that yeah, you're it do it, it's, it's doing it. These, this, my, this is one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. It's uh -huh. coming true, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, one step at a time. All right, so back to the music. Walk me through your creative process. So from the time that you think about a song in your head to the time that you get in the booth and you record it, what does that look like? That's just Bobby. Mm -hmm. I'm saying pretty girls. I'm saying you can in the be, stool? Yeah, gang, pretty girls, regular Bobby. You know what I'm saying ain't got to be nothing like that, but it's just the energy. You know what I'm saying watch what I do, y'all. You know I'm saying. Oh, so you it's showing focused. off? Because nah, that's just, what it's, it's giving. Just, you said, watch just, what I, I do. I know what I want to hear. 
what I would like to hear at least. So mm-hmm. let me, as y'all be in the first listen, let's check this shit out. You know what I mean? Okay, I see. So I you write once think. you get in the booth or you already got something when you get in there? Just, I just go in there, just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So what would you say is like your most lit song? What song do you think is the one that got you on the map? <laughs> Didn't I just say the body was killed? <laughs> Word, that shit, that my baby, come and get me, bro. Uh huh. That's that. She a baddie, get freaky to me. side to side. Mm-hmm. That shit. It's a couple little sneaky joints in the streets that the trenches fuck with, but side to side was one of those that was like, nah, I like this one. It's fun. Like, mm-hmm. I could jam to this. And once I started hearing it in the clubs, I'm like, oh shit. Right. That's when you knew that shit was. A... Did you know it was gonna be late when you recorded it? Um yeah, cause the nigga pop, all people pop smoke, nigga pop was like, yo. They gonna say shit like yo, you sound like me and shit. Like, I'm weak. Well, don't don't. He's like take it serious and, and, and like don't rap about like beef and shit. Like rap about girls. Mm-hmm. Well, did did people tell you that she sounded like him? Um, yeah, it was fans. Oh, it just sound like some pop shit. Da, da, da. How like do you, it. how do you feel about people comparing you to other artists? Um, please don't compare me to none of these niggas. I'm dead nice. Like I'm really nice, but it's a compliment if it's if it's. If the motherfucker matter, you know what I'm saying? No, don't compare me to no, don't compare me to no, no, no motherfucker. <laughs> no bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Compare me to something that you feel is, is up there too, you know what I'm so, so who are some people that you think are worthy of you being compared to? Since you said that you don't mind. Uh, shit. Hmm. Stack, pop, um... <laughs> the original, okay. Okay. All right, so if you had to describe yourself as an artist in three words, what would you, what, which words would you use? Magnificent, mm-hmm. special, hungry. Magnificent, special, and hungry. Magnificent, special, and hungry. What makes you so special? I'm a bozo, so I'm like, I'm saying, like, I got I get my <laughs> moments where it's like, oh, this motherfucker crazy. Mm-hmm. In real life or in your music? crazy and everything, every, ever since birth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Since I'm a doll, you know what I'm saying? So that's that part right there. Magnificent make me just off of how I create. Mm-hmm. I, I, the way I be creating, it be crazy. Like, that should be all for just my heart. Mm-hmm. I'm a pure-hearted nigga, so mm-hmm. my shit's straight natural. So you write your own lyrics? Yeah. Uh, I spit them, but I got to start writing them. Bro said I got to start writing them down. You don't get no hope in the booth, nothing? Nah. The How most, do you? The go most ahead. I get is like, yo, give me some water. <laughs> bring that back. Okay. How do you feel about Ghostwriters, though? I like them. I'm saying I'm one of them. Okay, so how do you feel about, because you know recently, well today, Lotto was out and somebody tried to expose her low-key, talking That's about not, how he was a... Yeah, we don't do that. Yeah. So you said that you are a ghost writer. Yeah. So would you ever do that? Would you ever like put it out there on Front Street? Nah. Who you writing for? Even if we fall off, nah. Do you get writing credits though? Um, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> How you don't know? Nah, you get your nah, you got to know. I don't. I, the way my shit set up. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying it's like a motherfucker computer. Yeah. So it's, it's there, it's there. It's okay. There. So you had Fully Active 2, you dropped last year, yeah. right? That It was well-received. I think it was well-received, right? Yeah, they, what kind of feedback were you getting from that? They was going crazy. They waiting for um, videos from it. I uh-huh. ain't getting no visuals from it. Yeah, why not? Um, Due to, like, certain, like, contracts and, like, certain things and all that. But I'm going to still do what I do for the trenches. Mm-hmm. Regardless, like, um, that shit ain't going to break it. So I'm going to do it for... Like the super portals. It's not fans either. I don't do by, I don't do fans. Y'all know that. Y'all not my fans. Mm-hmm. I'm saying they my super portals, so I'm gonna give them like shit they want. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like you do a lot of stuff for your fans. Like you yeah. have a good, like nice little interaction. You seem very appreciative for the yeah. people who do I mean, support FaceTime you. Them niggas, all that. Them niggas be, FaceTime. Oh my, oh my god, this is really being on. Like what up, nigga? Really? Da da da. You getting shit done? Yeah, or if little kids and at the little group homes and shit, mm-hmm. they wall and I, 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 I talk to them. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. hey, yo, go back there. Don't they wall. I don't know, make me something so I can post it. Mm-hmm. Be fucking it. So you up. really be supporting the community too. Yeah, I got like a group home kid. He sent me a message. It's in my wallet. I told him I'm gonna keep it with me every day. Mm-hmm. You know so it's real shit. How important do you think it is for artists to like give back to the community that 
they came from. I think it's very important because we was once dumb, even if you act like you wasn't. You was, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So always remember, like, they the reason why we here. You know what I mean? So you ain't got to be all cute and all that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, surprise, change the world, surprise motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Change lives like that. Mm -hmm. Real. And mean, then on the flip side, how much influence do you think as an artist you have on the community that you a lot? Live in? I got a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying now that I, I'm, I'm realizing a lot of new shit. This is new to me. You know what I'm saying so. I just had a new. I, I just went to my first brunch. Really? And my life was straight influences. Wow. That shit gave me goosebumps. You know what I'm saying it gives me chills right now. Mm -hmm. that shit crazy. So it's like I know what I'm doing. I know what I got to do. And we getting, getting it done. Okay. Okay, so, like, who are some people that you feel like you would like to work with in the future? Because you already mentioned, like, Beano and Friends. And yeah, yeah. on Beano and Friends, you had nothing but features on there. Who are some people that you would like to work with coming up? We on the talk of town, right? Of course. Shout out my nigga, Matt Global. Mm -hmm. yeah. My nigga, Nino. Fonsa Nino. Um, Gino Montana. Fabio Fon. Either to connect. I'm saying my nigga JJ. Mm -hmm. So you, know you don't. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't want to. Yeah, my nigga um, Mac Moley. I'm saying. Shout out to them niggas in the 10. Mm hmm. With me. Um, that's about it. The thirds. Okay. The thirds. You got to get the thirds on the side too, Izzo. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just curious because you are signed, you know, to Fabio's label, but you just mentioned him as somebody that you would want to work with. Yeah. Why is it that we don't got no music from y'all nah, to come out? I, I say that just to bring it up there. Like, me and Fabio got a couple shit done. Like, they just gonna, not released yet? Nah, it's just, it's, it's, yeah. But it's fire. Like, it's too fire. So, we it's focus too on, fire? It's too fire. We focus on the Bible right now. Like, we just going to take it step by step. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Well, Okay, well, we're looking forward to it. That shit crazy. All right, so you, in your song, you got a song with Lola. You like, it's the hips for Yo, me. Yo, shout out to my nigga Lola Brooke, man. That was a bob. That's my nigga Lola. How did that come about? How did you and That's um, Lola, you man. Her? She hungry like me. You mm -hmm. feel me? And she, she, shout out to the, all the female MCs out here. You feel me? That's going hard. Mm -hmm. I fuck with y'all, for real. You fucking and, with female rap? Yeah, I, I'm jacking her. I'm saying. Who else you jacking? Um, I'm jacking. I'm jacking Lola Brooke right now. I'm saying, just, That's it? yeah, I just did it. Sick the trick, my nigga Kate Goddess. That's about it. Like, I don't really, because the girls be, I don't know if they think I'm gonna fuck or whatever, or whatever, but I don't, I don't know if they think I'm a threat or whatever, whatever but it's like, I'm, I'm, my, my door's open, my arms is open. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But Lola was just more so like, I, I did the song and I, 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 was, I wanted a feature, but mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want no nigga on it. Mm -hmm. I don't want no man on it. I don't want no nigga voice on it. Mm hmm. I was thinking. Like, I mean, with a song like that, I, I think it was appropriate for you to I'm have. I'm saying, I'm like, who yeah. I could put on this? And it just came to my head. I'm like, yo, hit Lola. I said, yo, what up, gang? I got some shit for you. Mm -hmm. I sent it. That shit was done the next day. Oh, shit. Yeah, she did that Sis shit on was on it. She did That's that shit good. on something. And the way she came with it, I was like, oh, I yeah, wanted to ride up. I'm like, yo, ride. It went like crazy. Well, shout out to Lola. Bro. So, in the vein of the song... For the people that want to know, what is it for you? When you're looking for a girl, what kind of stuff is it that you're looking for? Um, Love yourself, I'm saying. Don't get caught up in the hype. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to enhance your shit, make sure you do it right. I'm saying. So you saying no Bosch BBOs? Is no, that what I'm you're jacking saying? all that. I'm jacking that. I'm saying I'm jacking that. Like, so what like you mean example, do it right? Like, 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 for example, like girls like to do makeup. To make sure you do it right. Make sure it's a good makeup. Make sure it look cute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's that for me. It's the face beat for me. Like, it's, uh -huh. it's, type of, it's, the, it's for me. So, be yourself, baby. Okay. Are you in a relationship? Yeah. Yeah? So, how is it? I think that's so interesting. How is it as, like, an upcoming, you know, you viral, everybody watching. How is that being in a relationship and trying to navigate <laughs> your career? That shit crazy. That shit right now, I ain't gonna lie. That shit's like, I thought I could get away with shit. I thought I could get away with mad shit. You know, you what, know what they she, say she about put, what's done in the dark. I ain't gonna lie. Don't yeah, she that. put a lot of like stops to like the way I was like moving and shit. Mm -hmm. like, throwing game at me like, nigga, it's done third and it just had me like, damn. A real woman. That's that's what uh, a lot of you niggas need out here. Uh, so I tighten up. Okay, so, but it's been, how would you say overall it, it has been to navigate, though? It's good, good. it's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. 
All right, so you put on social media. Shout out to relationships. Like, like <laughs> let's get relationships popping. Like, it's just as real. Like, yeah. Nah, it ain't even about Dirk and India. They, they just a relationship. Like, they just one of them. Like, it's real relationships. It's like those those are real. Like, like let's normalize people, are, people, people being are, in relationships. People are jacking like side nigga, main nigga, main bitch, side bitch. Like that's cap. Mm-hmm. Like think about it. Like, you, you back in the day, niggas used to have relationships. Then they cheat, get caught, tighten that shit up, and don't cheat no more. Remember, it wasn't oh you side niggas that you got caught right. cheating. Right. Now it was just straight sign nigga, you get away with the sign nigga. Yeah, it's they normalized thing. it. It's like a thing, yeah. So you heard it here first, and I really think it's a first. Let's make relationships great again, y'all. <laughs> okay, so you put it on your Twitter. I said if y'all into that, I'm saying the people that's pushing that. Uh-huh. If you're single and you want to do your thing, do your thing. Right. You know, relationships and shit. Relationship. Okay. Well, well, you got a good one because you was you was talking about that for a little minute. I love that for you. Yeah. All right, so you said um, you you said being thirty, being over thirty, and looking younger than thirty is a flex. Yeah, is that applicable to you? I feel like I've, I've met people that's like 32, 33. I thought it was like twenty four. Oh, I thought it was about you. Nah. No, how nah. do you? I'm too, I can't even tell you my age. <laughs> I'm no? still a baby. I'm still a baby. Still okay. Me. I'm still a baby. Okay. Well. I'm just going to still ask you because it depends on what you consider to be a baby. Because something that I would say is like I've noticed a lot of the upcoming artists and people who are lit right now, they're really, really young. So I'm just curious, like, how do you feel about what hip hop, especially New York hip hop, is looking like right now with, you know, because everybody. I, I, I'm jacking it. Like, I'm jacking a bop. Like, yeah, it's the Nina. Like, I'm jacking ass flex. Like, you feel me? Like, it's, 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 it's. it's they trying to stop us, like, you feel me? Who? So, Who's they? I don't even want to get into that part, because I got open cases and shit, but... Oh. This this is this is hip-hop now. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Drill is hip-hop. Drill is hip-hop. What do you consider to be drill? What What is drill to you? When you hear the word drill, what does that mean? If you know, you know, man. <laughs> I'm saying, like, shit. We mean, this shit come with... Indictments. I mean, like this shit come with motherfucking lives being took in, niggas taking lives. Like, be get lucky and get rich off this shit. Know what I'm saying that's drill. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying it ain't talking about what he or she did. Mm-hmm. Cause you got females that drill too. Oh yeah, I know. So that's what that is. Okay, but well, I'll leave that alone. Okay, so you performed at Rolling Loud twice, which I thought was dope. You did Miami and you did New York. Yeah. How how was that? That shit was fun. It was real fun. You know why? Why? Because I was nervous. You didn't look. You, boy, you, you ate it. You was like. Check this out. Shout out oh. to Connecticut. I did a um, show in Connecticut two mm-hmm. days before the Rolling Loud. And at the show in Connecticut, it was only like. It was for like fucking like, like a good thirty people. Man. Oh really? Yes, and I would say like at least fifteen artists was performing. So it's like each person had just they people. There. It was two two audience members type per shit, artist. Type shit. <laughs> uh huh. And I was the only one that killed it. A few artists, a few other artists killed it, but I was the only one that like really killed it. Like mm-hmm. you know, New York nigga, da da blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. And I was having so much fun. Like, I was having so much fun. I did an acapella, all that. And the Rolling Loud shit come about, probably like, random. Yo, you opening up for me. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, capping me. I'm like, oh, yeah. He started calling niggas. Yo, what you not being? This song, send this song. I went straight to the bathroom mirror. I'm in the bathroom mirror. I'm going over side to side. I'm rapping it. Acapella, side to side. Mm-hmm. This shit crazy. I'm about to do it loud. Wait, so this is happening same day. This is the same day. Oh wow. Um, this is the um Miami one. Right. Um, we get there, get through the um shit, get to the stage. My motherfucking nerves. I don't know what the fuck. It's like my nerves just started getting crazy. Hell like, yeah. I, mean, so I seen the crowd. Once I seen the people, I said, Oh shit! Like this is it. Like mm-hmm. once I heard Drewski, shout out to Drewski. Well, uh, once I heard Drewski drop the um side to side. Well, that shit went out the window. It started. It started being motherfuckers that actually knew me. Mm-hmm. 
pulling out the cameras, like the lights to their cameras, and I started seeing bad lights. All I hear is, Bino, Bino. Ate it up. So Miami was fucking with you. Ate it up. Shout out to Miami. Ate it up. Uh, so so from Miami to New York, how was it? New York, they in went New York? crazy. New York went crazy because it's people. I know Nick. I know the security. I know certain niggas that's there. They oh, right. Oh, they recorded me. Right. My nigga T Dot jumped in the in the stands. You know what I'm saying. I T Dot. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Both of them shits was fun. So you like performing? Yeah, I love it. I love it a lot because. I was once that nigga in the audience looking right. at the performer, bro. So it's like, I love that shit so much. Like, if I could, I'd bring the whole, the whole audience on stage. Come on. Ah. Niggas love having so many people on That's stage. Cool. Why? Take your shirt know. off. <laughs> Rip your braid out. Rip your braid out <laughs> is crazy. So, okay. So since you love performing so much, what's like ultimate dream performance if you could perform on any stage that has ever been created where would it be gotta go with the legendary madison square madison square okay hold on so let me rewind that back if there's a show so like bt awards rolling loud which you already did or like coachella anything that you could perform at which one would you choose we're gonna start there something that's already out there Let's go Summer with, Jam. Yeah, anything. let's go with like the um the awards, the BT Awards. BT Awards. Yeah, type of All right, so that's so we got that down. Hell now, yeah. if you you already said Madison Square Garden, so we're gonna set up a hypothetical scenario. Got it, got it. You on tour, <laughs> you could put four people on tour with you at Madison Square Garden, because you said that that's your dream location. Yeah. Who's going on tour with you? This is this is industry and underground. Only industry. Mm. <laughs> this talk of the town. Only industry. Yeah, because you about to say all your I'm going with my son, friends. Favi. Yo, Vava, come on, Rip. Um, who the fuck? <laughs> Ain't these niggas. Yo, what? I don't even know. Like, I'm calling. I'm calling my nigga like four two dog. I'm saying, um, my nigga Kanye, mm -hmm. of course Kanye, but it's mm -hmm. legendary for me. But who else? Who else? Who else? No. You know, you know, you don't want to throw up no female up there. Let me see, uh, Nikki. Nikki? Yeah, I'm bugging. Well, Nikki. Well, okay. Well, we fucking, fuck with Nikki. Yeah, you gotta throw the queen up. Okay, there. well, shit, I fuck yeah, with that yeah, answer. Yeah. I'll never turn That's that. what I'm rolling with. Okay. Well, Favi, Doug, Kanye, Nikki. Okay. And Interesting gang. lineup. Come on, niggas. Okay. Ah! So, <laughs> first of all, okay. So, speaking of Yay, I saw that he, he y'all had a little nice little interaction yeah. that you had. How did that come out? How does he even know who you are? Man, that nigga's a, he, he know me. How? Um, that's yay yay. I know I'm who he is. I'm beaming. But like I'm saying, where did that connection come from? Because you that's, know that should come from God. That should come from God. In reality, like that should come from God. Like, mm -hmm. and you got the Donda hat right here. Yeah, that's shout nice. out to Donda. She go. So you met. You had that interaction with Yay, and then you mm -hmm. took a picture with Marilyn Manson. Yo, he's crazy. Like that nigga. He's yeah, I'm like, why? How did that? How did why? How was that? I told that nigga I was shooting a video. I was dropping a video. He didn't comment. That's he crazy. You said he didn't comment? Yeah, he's supposed to comment on the theme anymore. Something. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, Marilyn Man said, I, I went up to him and said, you still young, nigga. And he just laughed. Like, <laughs> he shook my hand. Whoa, he shook my hand. So he took a picture like, right there. Okay. You know, the cameras is mad fucking fast. So mm -hmm. right okay. So what has been, like, so far, like, your, like, the most memorable interaction that you've had with someone as you've been coming up? Now, this could be, like, a fan. This could be someone who you may have looked up to in your career. But just something that you will never forget. A moment that you will never forget. <laughs> in terms of your career, though, you don't got to get personal. Yeah. My niggas, man. 
And my nigga Flip go to sleep. Gino go viral. Like, it's just, that shit just is all in my head. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that's it right there. My niggas, man. Whoa. Yeah, but nothing rooted, like, in your career. Whether it was somebody, like, saying something to you. Uh-huh. No? Nah. Niggas can't. Not yet. I ain't hear shit that, that caught my attention yet. Okay. You know so I learned a lot, of course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Business side is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, my niggas. Uh, okay, so what's the future looking like for Bino? Because I saw something real interesting. Like, you talking about you want to make your own tequila? Yeah. yeah. Well, clearly we see that you like the tequila. Yeah, I'm going to make my but own drink. But why, why that? Because... Motherfuckers like to drink, man. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Man, I like to drink so, now. So, so what I would wanna you call taste it? some new shit. I ain't gonna call, tell y'all what I'm gonna call it now. I can't. I might have clubs, anything. That's fair. Okay. But what can we expect it? You working on it yet or mm-hmm. just a plan? Give me, by, by, give me Give me some time. Give okay. Me some time. So, what can we expect in the near future? What What can we expect from Bino? More hunger. You know what I'm saying more opportunities, mm-hmm. more more music. Um, you working on I'm anything a, right now? Uh, yeah, me and Gino about to just drop, drop, I'm about to just drop some straight visuals, mm-hmm. audios and shit for the niggas to stream and all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs>